All right, guys, it is going to be 105 degrees today, so I'm pre making up some cold salads. What I call it is garbanzo beans, cucumbers, Roma tomatoes, spinach mixed with a bit of this poppy seed dressing. This is good stuff. Uh, I really like it. I just found it down at the little market. Uh, tasted it is really good. I'm going to mix that with the salad in a baggie, put it in the fridge, and that's what we'll be eating today. What are you looking at? You can't have salad. What's up, Missy May May? It's hot, huh? Yeah. It's hot. You got water and everything over here. Drink your water. <laughs> She's grumpy because it's hot. It is hot. Going to be 106. We are at 101 right now, I believe. But yeah, it's getting pretty warm out here. Let's sit down in the shade here and talk. What's up, guys? It is hot. It, it's not even at the 106 uh, yet. We're at 101, but it's going to be 106 by 4 o'clock, I believe they're saying. We've got about two more days of this after today. And uh, definitely, uh, this is not usual for Southern Oregon. So it's catching a lot of people by surprise. Now, I will say three years ago, we did hit 117. We had a heat wave like this, uh, you know, I don't know what they call it. Some kind of like a heat dome or a heat wave that happened on the West Coast. There was a lot of fires that year. Uh, so far, there's not as many fires this year, but this came early. Usually, it don't have these days until the end of July, part of August. And uh, this was early, uh, but it's only showing four days of over 100. And then it drops down to 96. And that few degree temperature is... It does make a difference, especially in the van. Right now I have the AC going in the van. It keeps the back part of the van pretty cool. I'm thinking about making the kitties come to the back part of the van because they're hanging out up front where it's pretty warm. But, and then shutting the door and putting reflectix up over my screen. And that way it will, they'll be in there where it's cool, but they don't want to be in there. And so far they seem fine, you know, with the heat. Uh, if, if they, if I see the, any signs of heat with them, I'll move them back there. I've lived in my van five years, uh, but I don't travel as you guys know. I don't travel much, only around here local. Uh, but uh, definitely I don't see how people do it in vans in Arizona. I mean, there's people that stay there even in the summer. I, I just couldn't do it, I tell you. In the side that I'm sitting on right now, I have this uh, little tent thing up there by my door. And uh, I'll show you just a second. Let me switch the camera around. And I have a, a tarp and Reflectix uh, shade cloth up, as you can see. So it does, the heat comes, comes in pretty strong in the afternoons, like about five o'clock. It comes in pretty strong, but at least I have this up, you know, and this little thing here at the door. Uh, so it kind of keeps some shade on the van. And also, if you can see right there, that's my other catio. I have it closed off for the cats right now. I moved my air conditioner over to that and ran the vent out the side there. Uh, so it would cool more of the van. I have it really dark in the van or I would go in there and film this instead of sit out here. But uh, I have it really dark. I have all the windows blocked off. I don't have that many windows anyway, but I have the front blocked, back, or blocked off. Uh, just to keep the cool but uh, I'll tell you what I'm thankful for this big old walnut tree this walnut tree provides a lot of shade uh, for the front of the van and uh, you see how big that thing is the only time the Sun hits me is after 3 p.m. but this thing provides a lot of shade they're gonna be cutting it back though I kind of hate to see them do it but they're gonna be doing that because see how it hangs over the cabin those limbs one of those fall that cabin's gone uh, so they're going to be cutting that back but yeah definitely <clears throat> it is a lot of shade i like my hair grown out but i'm telling you what in the summer it is so nice when it's really short it's starting to grow out and i can already tell the difference it's definitely warmer for sure having a lot of hair. I have thick hair and it's fine, but I have a lot of it. And so my head gets pretty warm, but 
it's not too long yet it's getting there though i'm gonna let it grow for a while and uh but yeah i had it short over the last two years but i had like a pixie cut and it definitely was cooler i took my bike for a ride this morning around 8 a.m before it started getting warm it was 80 degrees at 8 a.m so it got warm quick today and uh, but i took it for a ride I, i've been missing going rides but i yesterday when i rode my bike down to the store it was about noon it was 100 degrees the sun the heat from the sun felt like it was burning me like it, it was hot this is a definitely a, a different heat than normal for here and uh, somebody was telling me this morning there's a lot of solar flares so that could be why it just it felt like it was burning my skin is what it felt like and i was only out in it for riding my bike for three minutes at the most and uh, it was hot had a lot of fun last night on the live there was several birthdays and fourth of july it was warm though we got a pretty good crowd i didn't figure very many people would show up because i figured most people are camping fourth of july weekend but i wanted to share some uh, time with you share a beer with you guys and visit with the panel it was fun had some great people on the panel but boy it got hot uh towards the end of it for sure i was getting pretty warm uh, my friend martina asked why we didn't play she thought we were going to play music i had planned on it but it was just too hot to be moving around much uh definitely so yeah but it was great to visit with you guys and thank you all for showing up it was a lot of fun today is supposed to be the hottest day of the four days that we're showing over 100 like i said 106 uh the next two days would be 102 103 i know it's only three degrees difference but it's a lot when it's hot like this uh so yeah so then tuesday uh it's supposed to be down in the 90s which i'm looking forward to that that's like a cooling trend right there if you guys like bubbly water try this flavor it's uh let's see it's coconut and pineapple this is so good i keep a, i bring i set them out here under my uh shade i set the uh cartons out here but then i take a, a couple of cans in every day um, i love this stuff the coconut pineapple you should try it i'm definitely tired right now because i got up early while it was cool and did the things i need to do and last night when it cooled off after the live i i kind of woke up i felt good because it wasn't so warm and uh, so i got up and did a bunch of stuff in the van kitties were the same way i'm on their time right now because they're sleeping yeah, even though they won't go back into the back where it's cool they lay on the floor and they'll just sleep when it's hot and then when it cools off it's zoomies through the van they, they had the zoomies pretty good for about 45 minutes last night back and forth back and forth they were funny i'm on the kitty cat time right now just trying to stay cool and when it's that hot just i just stay in bed i lay down i got the fans on me and i watch something on youtube or i'll take a nap but there's about six hours of the day, starting about, getting close to about two o'clock. So starting about now to about seven at night is the warmest time of the day. And uh, I'm fixing to get off here and go inside because it's getting warm sitting here in the shade, I tell you. Sending prayers and thoughts to everybody in Texas that hurricane's supposed to hit down there. I hope you guys uh, stay safe. So anyway, guys, thanks for checking in. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching the video and being part of this channel. Share it out if you can. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. All right, everybody, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace out. Oh, my God.